What's going on everybody? It's Journey Passion and once again I am back with another video. And as y'all can see, we are in the kitchen, we are in the chef room. Now, what we are going to be cooking today, or tomorrow, because I got to take it out, is great old... Okay. I got to go through all that. So I'll get back with you, alright? Alright guys, so I know I said I was cooking backstrap, but I think I ran out. As you can see, we have so much meat. I love to cook. I cook all the time, like every day or every other day. I'm thinking about ribs. I think we're going to cook some, some pork ribs or maybe some beef ribs. We'll see. These look like baby backs. No, those look like beef ribs. As you can see, we got fajitas. Yeah, I think I'm... I got it. You know what? Yeah, I'm cooking some beef ribs. So... This is the merchandise right here. We are cooking some ribs. See, that is why I need to set the hog trap, which is what I'm going to be doing um tomorrow. Like I, as you can see, I'm so stoked. Like I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm I'm really really happy because tomorrow we are going to be going rabbit hunting. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're going rabbit hunting. I got the GoPro, I got the camcorder. We're going to have a great time and I'm going to get it all on video and we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook. That will be a separate video, but tomorrow we're going to let this defrost and tomorrow we are going to cook it. I'm going to show you how to barbecue it, how I like to barbecue it. I, I'm telling you, guys, I go on the competitions and barbecuing and I love to do it, but we are going to let this sit out right here. Now, the seasons that I like to use are... I order my seasonings like look this is my seasoning cabinet <laughs> but uh one of my favorite seasonings is Everglades Everglades oh my gosh that I love their their uh, seasonings they have six different kinds it's uh, Everglades cactus dust Everglades heat Everglades rub Everglades original and Everglades fish and chicken. Here's the cactus dust. Here's the Everglades original. And last but certainly not least, Everglades fish and chicken. I know I said six, but I meant to say five. But one of my other favorite seasonings is Uncle Chris's gourmet steak seasoning. I love, as you can see, I buy the big one. They come in little ones like this. But, you know, I like the big one because I, I go through it. And these are the main seasonings I'm going to use, okay? Everglades original. I'm probably not going to use that one. I'm probably not going to use fish and chicken. I'm probably going to use cactus dust, Everglades heat, and rub with the Uncle Chris gourmet seasoning. Put these two up, and those are the seasonings I'll be using, guys. All right, right there. Another, se another not seasoning, but a sauce you're going to want. Even if you don't like barbecue sauce, get it. But Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, gourmet sauce. I love it. It's really delicious. All right, everybody. Other other than that, we are going to be cooking. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to make a video. We might even go bass fishing, bluegill fishing, pan fishing, all that good stuff. This weekend is going to be awesome because I'm starting football next week, and I'm not going to be able to make videos like I've been making lately. Because if you follow me on Instagram, you already under, you already know that uh, spring football started. So other than that, I will see y'all. Later, I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's going on everybody? As you can see, we are here at the lake. And right now, I don't have my GoPro. I'm so sorry I didn't come in today. But we are throwing the Texas rig with a worm. That is watermelon scented. Probably a two-aught hook, I think it is. We're just going to flip it in there. And I'll let y'all know if we catch anything. My brother's probably going to record, but this is what I'll be throwing for now. I got a spinning, spinning rod with 20-pound braid. All right. <laughs> he just got kicked in the nuts. <laughs> Joey, I can see your ass. <laughs> What's going on, guy? <laughs> oh, we just got a crappie on the on the jerk bait. Oh, sorry about the quality on the jerk bait. Chill out. Joey, chill out, chill out, chill out. Give me the camera. Joey, stop. <laughs> Joey, stop.
Stick them wherever you want. We got the crappie with the crankbait. Uh, yeah, a jerkbait, not a crankbait. We're gonna do a cash clean cook. All right, guys, we're gonna try and do get more, but for now, Joey's a little upset because he got cup checked. All right, but um, we'll get back to you. This is how you properly kill a fish. Here's the spine. I'm doing this self filmed right behind the gill. <laughs> what are you farting for? How do I zoom in? All right, guys, just like that. Yeah, Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. He is, he's dead. He doesn't feel anything. All right, I'll see y'all when we get home or if we catch another crappie. Oh, and the jerk bait guy. Oh my gosh. Um, we're gonna do a catch clean cook, but right now we're gonna head home and do the uh, barbecue. And tomorrow, in, in another couple of days, we'll do the uh, the video of catch clean cook. Will be out. All right, guys. What's going on, everybody? I am back at the house, and we got this crappie right now. Check it out. Caught it on the uh, old on the old jerk bait. We're going fishing again tomorrow, hopefully on kayaks. I'll film. I'll film most of that. But shut up. Right now, we're gonna um. I'm gonna show you what y'all need. We're gonna need ice, of course, a crappie. A knife, fillet knife specifically. Some gloves, y'all don't need them, but y'all can y'all can get them if y'all want. And an ice chest, it doesn't even be big. With some ice at the bottom. And what you do is place your crawfish are very slimy, as you can see. So you want to place them. You want to place it on ice. You want to place it on ice and. And then under ice. So we're gonna put this ice in here real quick, alright? That is what it's supposed to look like. You can see as that he is submerged. And that's really all that's to it, guys. I just wanna make sure he's submerged. Leave him in. Y'all wanna leave it in there for about, uh, I'd say 10, 15, 30 minutes would be great. But we'll get back with you. We're gonna leave it right here. Sharpen this knife up a little bit and we will get back with you, alright? What's going on guys? So it's been about 30 minutes and I'm turning, or not turning, I don't know why I said that. Um, I'm putting these gloves on real quick. And we're gonna get this fish out of here. He should be stiff, if he's not, it's fine, but real quick, I'm gonna show y'all how to, show y'all how to fill him. Alright guys, y'all want a very sharp knife. Mine's highly sharp, like, probably almost cut the glove, but uh, it's still slimy, but as you can see, like, yeah, it's very slimy, but it's stiff. Not very stiff, but stiff enough. Crappie's meat is, you want it to be frozen almost, but, you know, it doesn't need to be frozen. So right here, there's a plate right here. That's his gill plate. Right there, you want to cut under that, which is right here. There's, there's a bone right here, right there. You want to cut right here. Now there's a million ways to fillet crappie, but this is how I do it. You want to lift this dorsal, this isn't the dorsal fin, the, uh, I don't know, the uh, arm fin, I guess you would call it. You want to lift that and then go under the gill plate, right where I showed y'all. You cut towards the head to get as much meat as you can. Just like that. I cut in at an angle like this, and the good way to tell if you did it right is you're going to have blood on your thing. That means you cut into the gills, which is good. Now, you just want to make sure it's a clean cut. Alright, now as you can see right here, you see how I cut into it? Perfect, right under the gill plate, right here where I said. There's a cut in there. Now, there's no need. People want to cut open their guts, but that's if you're going to eat the fish whole, and we're not going to do that. But anyways, look. You can see that it's a good cut right there. The next thing you want to do is, it's hard for me to for let y'all to see at this angle, but we'll find a way. Now, you're just going to put about that much of the knife in. You're going to cut towards the head to where it stops. 
turn it, you see how I turn it like that? And like I said, you're only gonna put about a quarter of an inch of the blade in. And you're just gonna flatten the knife along, pretend this is the bone, the spine bone. You're gonna flatten it and you're just gonna cut it like that. You're gonna cut like that, basically. Now if you have a sharp knife, it'll easily go like that. But for now, mine is sharp, but I'm gonna go slow. If you hit something, just go around it and keep moving. Once you get enough meat, you're, you should be able to throw your thumb under the fillet. Just like that. And once you open it up, it's hot. It's much more easier. Now, crappie, they should have a white meat, a very white meat, as white as this board. Now, if they have a dark red meat, you either have a black crappie, also known as a dark crappie, or the fishes. If it's this color and it's got dark red meat, then it's not. It's something's wrong. But anyways. As you can see, I hit something, so I'm just going to go around it. Now you can see I only have that tip of the knife in there. Now, now you just want to go in there just like that. And cut along the ribcage. Now, you can hear, listen closely. Those are the ribs. Now y'all just want to cut a little bit more right here. And... Once you go like that, those are the ribs. You keep going until you don't hit the ribs, and you should puncture it all the way through. Tilt your knife like this. Don't cut the. Um. Don't go too far, but just enough. And you want to leave a little bit on there. Don't cut it all the way off. Don't cut the tail all the way off. And now you just keep going. You can either cut through the bones, or you can cut over them. I'm going to cut through them so I don't miss any meat. Sometimes it can be really hard. I'm probably going to have to cut over them. You can see as, how much slime they have. But uh, if you if you can, if you can see, I'm going to go over them just like that. Now there's a pin bone right here, so you want to go in and cut it out. These are the pin bones right here. This is the rib cage. This is that bone I was talking to you about. That means you've already reached the part where there's no more meat. Now you just want to keep cutting. Now you can just cut through the scales. And voila. Just like that. Now basically, now that you can see without the filet on there, you can see the white meat that they have. Beautiful white meat. Now, it's almost like bass if you've ever had a bass. And we'll do that another time. But uh, as you can see, I cut. And if you put too much pressure, you can see that you, you hit a bone. So you just go over and around. And I'll put that much blade in because you can see I put about that much blade. I just kept going, going, going. And once you, like I said, here's the ribs. And once you feel that there's no more ribs, you cut, you tilt your knife and cut all the way through until you leave a little bit of tail on. And then basically the next thing you do is right where the tail is right here, right here, you just want to. Put a little pressure, get a little bit, so you can think, so you can put your finger right here. As you can see, I, I uh peeled a little bit of that meat off, and then cut a little bit more. Now this is what why you use a fillet knife is because they're bendy. All right, after that, just keep going, and voila. They have white, white meat. There's going to be some pin bones right here. I want to cut those out.
Alright. Now we're just going to do the other side. A little bit faster. Turn it around. Turn your knife. Right there, there's no, oof, one on the other side. No bones, cut downward. Why is it doing that? Cut downward, hold on. And voila, now we're getting somewhere. Like I said, there's a million ways to do it. This is just how I do it. As you can see, you get a lot of meat out of this way. And then you're just left with a carcass. Pin bones out. And you just want to put ice water. And voila. Throw the flavors on ice water, and we'll cook them up here in a minute. All right, we'll see you then. All right, guys. Now, what you're gonna need is butter, my favorite seasoning in the world, is fish and chicken, and of course, your fillets. Right here. Now, if you want to get a better view at that. Anyways, and last but certainly not least, you want a, a small pan, big if you have a lot of fish. You just grab about half of your, maybe a tablespoon, I'd say. Just throw it in there. Okay, hold on. And throw it in there. You can use olive oil or vegetable oil, but I'm gonna use butter. I love butter. Now. There's some paper plate. Grab your fillets. I usually wait till the ice melts. That's when you know you probably got all that slime. Come over here and rinse, rinse them off. Alright, there is our fillets. Make sure there's no bones. Grab your fish and chicken and don't be bashful.
Make sure your butter over here doesn't burn. On the other side, you could either do fish and chicken, or whatever seasonings y'all want to use. I'm going to add old-fashioned pepper and salt. And we are running out of pepper. And be, a, be bashful with the salt. You don't want to put too much. Just enough. Butter over here should be nice and hot. And go ahead, add your filet. Beautiful filet right there. We'll set that one over there. <laughs> and we'll get back with you when this side is done. Alright guys, as you can see right here, that the fish is folding up, so it's about ready to flip. Go ahead. Give it a good flip. As you can see, it's already cracking right here, so that fish is coming out good. Alright, now we'll get back with you when it starts folding the, uh, the opposite way. Alright guys, now as you can see right here, it is starting to brown. That means this baby is about ready. Give it a flip one more time. Oh my gosh, look at the browning. If y'all could smell it right now, it is beautiful. Look at it, it's already falling apart. This fish will be done in about 30 seconds. So we'll give it about 30 seconds. We'll throw that one, that one over there in here. And we'll have my brothers taste it and see how good it tastes. But for right now, we're going to let it finish cooking. We'll probably have to put more butter in here, but for now, we're just going to finish cooking this. We'll show you what happened next. Alright guys, we are taking it out right now. That's what the finished product looks like. Oh my gosh, just look at that, if y'all could smell it. Now we're just going to throw this baby in here. Actually, we're going to add a little bit more butter. Let that simmer. Yeah, we'll turn this fan on. All right, let that simmer for a minute. And then we are gonna, actually, hold on. Give it a couple swirls and that butter should disappear right about now. Let's throw this baby on there. Voila. Throw this plate away. Don't get this plate mixed up with your good plate. So we're going to throw it over here in the trash. I'm going to throw this trash out. But let it cook for about, as you can see, it's already browning on one side. So it is looking beautiful. And like I said in other videos, guys, um,. Let me know what y'all want next. I would do videos just like this. Bass, perch, bluegill, whatever. I love doing this. It tastes really good. I love giving y'all ideas. Um, tomorrow I wanted to go crappie fishing in the morning. It might happen, it might not. But I know I didn't get to barbecue the ribs like I said I was. They're in the fridge right now as you can see. Right here. But you saw in my freezer we have so much meat. We'll, we'll do a lot more videos like that. But I thought y'all would like this more. But um... If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments what you want next. And subscribe if you already have if you haven't subscribed and turn on the post notifications. We are doing awesome videos. Alright. It looks like it's folding up just a little bit. We'll give it a couple more minutes and we'll get back with y'all. Alright guys, we are ready to flip it. Now when you flip it, make sure you back away because it'll splatter. 
Look at the sizzle on that. Beautiful meat. I love crappie. Crappie's an awesome meat. I love it. I was using, as you can see, come over here, come over here. I was using a, I was using a shad low lip jerk bait. If y'all can't see it, I'll come over here for y'all. That's what it looks like. I was jerking it. That baby took a hold of it. Had no chance with, with 50 pound braids. But um, I was actually fishing for bass, but I ended up catching a crappie. But let's come over here to our fish. Let's see. Should have paused it and done that. I just edited it out. Let's come over here and see how our baby looks. You can tell easily if the fish, if you if you could barely put pressure in it, it'll fall apart. Not yet ready, but it's getting there, and we'll get back with y'all. All right, guys, is it, it is looking about ready. I'm gonna open it up right here and just check. You can eat fish raw. I mean, that's what sushi is, but oh man, that's perfect. If it is this color on the other side, it should be just right. Let's grab this plate over here. Flip it just to see. Oh my gosh. Always make sure y'all turn y'all pans off. I've left them on before. Not good, especially when you cook with grease or butter. But we are going to do a taste test. I'm going to have them cut it up and show them. Ask them how it tastes. Alright guys. Let's see what, what the boys think. <laughs> Look at the little one. Already got a piece. Give me your honest opinion. Tell me what it tastes like and how it tastes. A little hot? Yeah. I'm prepared. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Don't do this one, Mom. I'm going to tell it's going to be good. What do you think? Wow. What do you think, Junior? Damn, bro, that's good. Damn. What does it taste like? It's own fish or it tastes like redfish, trout, bass? It tastes like bass and bluegill. Really? Mm. What do you think, Junior? Everybody's got different taste buds. In between tilapia and bass. Tilapia and bass? Yeah. All right. Wow. Let me come over here and taste it.